right, Thursday night football. You have the Los Angeles Chargers without Keenan Allen going into Arrowhead to take on Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Full disclosure, I don't even know who we're going to pick yet before this started recording. We don't have much <laughs> stats. All we're going off of is our noggin. And with that, Grant, I'll throw it to you. Who's winning this game? Well, I've done a lot of research on this. Okay, I'm very well prepped. I like my two counterparts <laughs> here. Okay. The money is on the Chiefs. Okay, they're minus four. Mahomes looked incredible. Five touchdowns. They have no Keenan Allen. All of the visuals say Mahomes is going to win this game. Well, guess what? They are going to win this game, but they're going to win by three points. And that's why I take the Chargers plus four. It's going to be a close one. It's a divisional game. Herbert will keep them in. Chargers, I mean, I think Chiefs will go up probably by two touchdowns somewhere in the game. They'll make it close, and they're going to win by four points. Uh, three, four, three, three, three. three, three. <laughs> Chiefs are going to win by three. I am taking the Chargers plus four in a shootout, but it's going to be a shootout, and it's going to be an under. Holy oh, and an uh, wait, a, a shootout and an under. It's a contradiction. I don't know what's going on. It's a contradiction. <laughs> Nikki, Listen, I don't know what to make of that. I mean, look, obviously we're a little bit conflicted as to who to choose. And I don't think we're the only three sitting here conflicted when you look at this game. I mean, you have a divisional game, two two guys that know how to sling the rock. Grant brought up good points. Keenan Allen's out. We got a close spread, probably the highest total, if I could imagine. I didn't look at all the totals. But, I mean, just looking over week one, Herbert looked great. Patty Mahomes looked like a goat. I think I'm going to have to side with the Chiefs, minus the points, lay them. I'll take Keenan being out. I think the defense will be just enough to hold uh, Herbert loose. And you know what? I think Chiefs are Chiefs are good here. There was one throw in week one. I don't know if you guys saw this highlight. It was from Herbert. It was to Keenan Allen. He was double covered, and it was the angle from behind mm -hmm. Herbert. Did you guys see this highlight? I did. One of the dirtiest throws I've ever seen. It was like a zip. He stepped up, zinged it over, through double cover. You could see it from his line of sight. And I was like, I can't believe someone's that confident to make that throw. With Keenan Allen in this game and plus four, I have to ride the Chargers. However, him being out, thinking about some of their other weapons, they didn't use Eckler at all. On my fantasy team, didn't really see the rock that much. I'm hoping that workload increases. On the Chiefs side... It, you're right. They just look like the GOAT. They look so good. Five touchdowns and an easy five touchdowns uh, without breaking the sweat. Yeah. Five touchdowns. They say in Vegas, three points to the home team. It should swing it at least three points. If this is played on a neutral field, I still think the Chiefs are minus four. Like I, You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't think they go down yeah. to minus one on a neutral field. So because of that, with the home field advantage in Arrowhead – and those fans going crazy. I'm going to roll with the Chiefs. I don't want to make the same mistake we made last Thursday night in betting against Josh Allen. I'm not going to bet against Mahomes. I know the public's on the Chiefs, but I'm on the Chiefs as well. This makes me even more confident, okay? I know now this is a mortal lock. Plus, because when you guys were both talking, I, all I was thinking about was Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa. Mm -hmm. See, last week they placed the Cardinal teams with no rush. He was back there, Mahomes, all day, patty cake, patty cake. Mm -hmm. But now you got Joey Bosa, you got Derwin James, you got J.C. Jackson. You got Khalil Mack, who had three sacks on Derek Carr. There's going to be pressure. It's not going to be as easy as he had it last week. And that's why I really do like the under, because Mahomes won't score it. He's like he did last week. And I really do like plus four charges. If I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. top corner J.C. Jackson is out. I like it even more. The optics Man. are terrible. The optics just, are unlikely to play. He's unlikely to play. I mean... That's just a fucking, that's a Krabby Patty sitting on Patty Mahomes' desk right yeah, there. That's a nice little smack back. Uh, I, the point. thing is, Andy Reid is so good. I mean, you guys watched that play with Clyde Edwards Lair. Yeah. Did you see that draw? Yeah. I've never seen a play like that in the NFL. Clyde is fullback. Yeah. He goes to the left, hides behind the six foot six tackles, just does one of these. And just catches it and walks in. This the is Clyde's year. I think this is Clyde's it's year. Crazy. Listen, this is, is Patty's year. This is Travis's year. Uh, I think it has to be Chiefs. And, I'm taking the points plus what, four. I think the Chiefs win, but I think the Chargers cover. And you know what? You know, uh, uh, well, let me just jump in here real quick because now I'm 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 guaranteeing that the Chiefs win. No, I'm guaranteeing when, when, the Chargers. When anyone says when anyone says, you know, my team's gonna not win, but they're gonna cover. That's a recipe for that team's not gonna cover. That's just a recipe of trying to thread the needle and saying they're gonna cover, but they're not gonna win. They're not going to cover or win, and the Chiefs cover. <laughs> well, actually, I said that about Seattle Broncos. I said Seattle's going to cover here, but they're not going to win. They won and covered. Well, exactly. Well, Chargers might win and cover also. Nikki? 
you know, it was a way to save himself right there. But you know what? All I'm going to say is, look, it's, a, it's one of those games where I'm happy I'm not a betting man. I'm happy I'm a DFS player because this is DFS galore. You have a shootout written all over it. I'm, I don't know where I'm going to be yet, but I'll definitely have some exposure. I, I'm thinking early, early thoughts. I'm thinking Josh Palmer in the captain slot. I could see them maybe being down. Him having to sling it, Josh Palmer probably being the biggest benefactor of Keenan Allen being out. So maybe a good bounce back spot for Mike Will. He definitely, I know, historically crushes Steve Spagnolia on the defense coordinator for the Chiefs. Historically last year, I know he blew him out. So I could definitely see a bounce back spot for Mike Will, but I think Josh Palmer in the captain slot is pretty safe. When did Thursday night football start? It wasn't that long ago, right? Less than 10 years ago? I'm not sure. Less than 10 years ago? I would love to see all regular season Thursday night football games. This has to be the best game ever. Yeah. One of them, yeah. One of them. For sure. Or top three. Like, like, what gets better than this for Thursday night regular season football with no playoff implications? Yeah. So, anything from, call it week 12 and in, week 11 and in, it had, this has to be the best Thursday night football game ever. I couldn't agree more. I swear to God. I, I'm sitting here like, who do you play? Who do you choose in this game? It's it's going to be one of those games where you just you get your popcorn and you sit back on the couch and enjoy the show. That's why that's why I think we everybody in the public's on the over. Everyone says shootout, shootout, best game ever. I, that's why I think it goes under. Well, that's what we thought last week when we got smacked with the Rams. <laughs> well, did that game go under or over? It was 31-10. Think went the under, under, under. So everyone thought it was no. Gonna be the shootout. Bills, the Bills won. Bills Rams. Bills hurt us. Everyone thought it was going to be Bills over. Shootout. Under. Stafford, Josh. Unders, unders, unders yeah. are historically the sharp play. Yeah. People like to bet the overs. People, nobody likes to sit there and watch the two people yeah. punt the ball. So unders probably, and obviously with these two teams going at it, definitely probably the unders the sharp play. But public has to Yeah, win well, too, we said so. over in that first game, but I want that stricken from the record because in the first game of any season, you have to take the over, and I think that's a free bet. That shouldn't yeah. be counted against yeah. you. That's just football rules. Nicky's added us because I believe the AFC West championship Broncos, yeah. So you two, Toronto, no, uh, so wait, real quick though, it was actually his Super Bowl champion. Super Bowl too, yeah, that too. And they lost to lost to Seattle. Listen, week one, it's a free bet. I'm on the Chargers. Yeah. Does the winner of this game win the division? Not now. I'm saying if it's the Chargers, yeah, the Chiefs win. If the Chargers win, yeah. Denver Broncos country. Let's ride. Let's revisit that real quick. <laughs> you went with the Broncos to win the Super Bowl. They did. How are you feeling about that going into Week Two? Listen, I'm not gonna lie. With as bad as they played, or as bad as things could have went a lot better for them. So a lot of fumbles at the goal line, a lot of red zone mistakes, penalties. bad coaching, penalties. They still kept bad the coaching. bad, bad coaching. Terrible. So you know what I mean? That shit can only get better. You clear that stuff up early in the season, get it out of the way. I think by week seven, week eight, this team. Did you see Payton and Eli's reaction? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Payton's Gold. Like, I'd call Time it. out. I'd call I'd it. Call They're going to draw him off sides. <laughs> They're going to draw him off sides here either. Oh, I, I'd call it by now. What? Oh, he's like, he's just doing this on TV. Unbelievable. He Great, did have man. 350 yards though, Russell. Bro, Ross Bro. looked good, man. I hate to no, say No, they were good. Javante Williams looked good Javante that ran like, like a freight train out yeah. there. Couldn't touch him, but... Judy, Judy's fast. Judy's good. Sutton's open every time. So, uh, they look scary. That's all I'm Judy's saying. Judy's fast. If it, they're even, he's leaving. Wow. What Jerry a line Judy. right there. They're even. He's got, he's leaving. He's got the burners. <laughs> you like that line? I'm going to use I that one. That was Pat McAfee. It, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> that, was, yeah, that was the Instagram guy. I, didn't, I don't listen to Pat yeah. McAfee. All right, listen. quick transition here. <laughs> Top five quarterbacks after week one in the NFL. Let me hear Wow. On, off Number the one, obviously, you have to go Patrick Mahomes statistically. Number two. Number two, Jalen Hurts. No, he didn't. Just let, let him finish. Might he be didn't, right. didn't perform today. Grant, hit it right off the dome. Number two. My guy, Lamar Jackson. Mm. He's throwing dots out there. Was there was dots. Jets. Those were those dots. Were dots. Did you but, see his no look dot? Yeah, dude. Those were dots. But it was versus the Jets, but still, it's Lamar Jackson. Turned Devin Duvernay into a star. Yeah. Just and like Rashad Bateman. And Lamar. Shoddy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, number three, Josh Allen. And Josh Allen yeah. probably should have been two. Two, two Josh Allen, three Lamar Jackson, because he looked unstoppable, too. Number four, trying to browse my brain through the games. I mean, Herbert looked good, but he didn't look Mahomes good. But he looked, probably he, he looked pretty good. He did look good, just because that top pass I did see, number four. And then number five, uh, controversy, but he was throwing dots, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. Nicky? Got to go Patty one. Um, brought up Josh Allen. Josh Allen's got to be two after yeah. that week one dynamic defense. He just crushed. 
I'm going to go Jalen Hurts, three, put up 38 points. I like him. His rushing ability, I don't know how many rushing yards he had, but he still put up, stacked the, the box score up. Um, four, four, I'm, I got to go Herbie. Like, again, the guy's mm-hmm. throwing the ball on a string. And uh, five, I want to go a little bit different here. I want to I want to fade a little bit. I'm going to say Tua had a great week one. Mm. I think Tua had a great week one, Played, did, did what he had to do, won the game. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I'm going to say Tua at five. Just in week one, how they looked. I like two in week I'm going to pull one. up uh, Pro Football Focus's uh, top QBs from week one. I was actually talking to a Dolphins fan yesterday in my elevator of Nova. And I was like, how did you think Tua played? He said terrible. He said terrible? Yeah. Really? He, he, like he, missed, that bad. he said he missed a bunch of throws that he should have made. The, he said the wide receivers were making plays. Tua was just throwing average balls. I, I was honestly well, thinking. I, I didn't know, watch I, the yeah. game like that. We, so didn't, we didn't watch every play. I look like at the, the stat sheet. Fan. Yeah. That's how most people do it. They look at the stat sheet and... No, if I had to go in order, I'm thinking QBs wise. I gotta go. I gotta go Trey Lance one, <laughs> and then I think if I had to go two behind him, I Stafford. think I think Mac played well. Mac, Mac Jones, Jones, yeah, in the two spot, he sold some, uh, some good signs there. Davis no, Mills. No, I'm gonna go Mills three. I'm gonna go Mills three. He actually, had a I actually, <laughs> I caught a glimpse of. Uh, I caught a glimpse of Kyle Trask on the bench. Looked good. I'm gonna Looked go him good. four. Yeah, and then I heard, uh, I heard rehab's going great for Zach Wilson. So I'm gonna go five. <laughs> Any so I think this 21 class is looking strong here, right out of the gate. We look good. I'm trying to pull up the Pro Football Focus rankings. I saw them on Twitter. It was egregious. Yeah. Of the top five. Of of quarterback rankings. I don't know how they do their out al- their algorithm. It was like the most egregious thing I've ever seen. Who else? Could oh, here we go. Here we go. Pro Football Focus highest graded QBs in Week One. You guys ready for wow. this? Number one, Josh Allen, ninety-one-five. I, I hope this is real. Number two, Kirk Cousins, eighty-five-one. Kirk looked good though. He did. How was Mahomes on too? He did. Yeah. Number three, Ryan Tannehill, eighty-one-one. That's where you lose. No, 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 That's no, where no, we no, should no, get no, up. No, I no, hope no, the no. internet's not getting me right now. No, this is no, what I saw. No, no. I'm gonna keep going. Number four, they lost. They need two Justin two. Herbert, seventy-nine-eight. Number five, Jameis Winston, 79-6. How are they doing this? How? So at the top we have to figure out Mahomes in there. Here, no, there's 10. Number six, Lamar Jackson, 76-8. I can live with that. Tied for number six, Jalen Hurts, 76-8. Eight, Patrick Mahomes, 71-5. What else is he supposed to do, man? Throw eight, <laughs> nine touchdowns? Nine, Tom Brady at 70, which... I don't know. It was all right. And bringing it up the rear at 10, Davis Mills, 68-1. Wow. How crazy is that? Crazy list. list. That doesn't even make sense. The only positive in that, yeah, the only positive in that list, I think, was Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins, I forgot. I should have put him at five instead of two. I like Kirk. Kirk had a great game. Kirk did have a great game. Great game. We're sleeping on Kirk. Did Aaron Rodgers say to Justin Jefferson he's the best player in the league? Did he? I I heard that happen, like, right after. I don't. He, he like said to him like in his uh, handshake after the game, he's like, "You're the best player in the league." Wow, that's what I heard. Someone can spew check me on that. He's like, when he catches the balls, there's 15 yards of space. It's like Cooper yeah. Cup, man. It's just he's like so them two just find a way Cooper to get Cup open. Cooper Cup is like, there's people close to me. Justin Jefferson. No there was one play. Justin Jefferson ran on uh, it's Jair, the yeah, the, the corner, the, the, the dig. Yeah. Basically, it was a dig. And he he lost went. Jair. He literally turned him in a circle. Like 10 yards of space. Like, unbelievable. He's That's that guy, man. Form. Yeah, he's that he guy. He really is that guy. Redraft fantasy football right now. <laughs> one to 10. You got to redraft. Redraft? Um, one, I'm going to go one to 10. I'm going to go one, J. Jeff. Two, JT. Three, still give me C Mac. He's still healthy. Maybe go to five. Yeah, go to five. Four, Derrick Henry's far, far out there. Yeah, way he's, out. We said that. The whole way out. We said Cooper that. Cup. What even Cooper Cup at Cooper four. Points. Five. Who's a good five? Um, Eckler fell out of the five. Yeah, he's gone. Um, who's number, a good number five? I'm going to say, ah, fudge. This is a tough one at five. Who do you go here, man? Who do you go here? Obviously, Najee's out. I got one for you. Maybe an overreaction. Saquon. Saquon. Mm, eh, probably not. He probably creeps into the first round. What if he, he, totes, it? If he round? totes it all year? He like creeps that. into the first it's round. It's the whole offense. It's the, the New York Barclays. Jamar, Deva- Jamar, Devante. I'm not a buyer on Devante. Oh, Jamar, I'm a buyer. Mikey, good call. Devante had uh, look up his stat. It was like it was like 18 targets versus like 11 for the rest of the team. It's like insane. Got a golden matchup this week, Devante against Arizona. KC oh wow, just lit them up. Raiders, cars in. Is that a DFS play? Oh yeah, 
He's gonna be expensive. Though. He'll be expensive. But is he a captain? <laughs> no, I'll probably would I if I if I'm exposed to that game, I'll probably do Carr with like a, a Renfro in there with maybe a Waller, like Renfro Waller Carr. Leave Devontae out because, like you said, he'll be owned. Or he'll be yeah, Devontae will be owned like crazy. And Renfro didn't have too good of a week last. No, time. he didn't. Renfro, yeah. Renfro will pop. He'll get he'll get it going. He gets it going, but l- early little sneak peek. I think I'm going to make it work some more. I think I'm going to sign up for DFS. <laughs> Big Nick. Because I it's have fun. to now. <laughs> I already had dreams of thinking, like, when Nicky was sitting, like, Nicky, why don't we take, like, the same lineup? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun, Nikki. Let me Nikki, see yeah. your phone. Let me see your phone, Nikki. Why Nikki? don't we take the same lineup? What's crazy is that like five bucks would actually won you like five grand, just five bucks, based on my like my uh, ratio. That's crazy. And you had a miss with ETN. Yeah. Like whenever I think about that, yeah. I always think you can't have a miss. It was his defense, two percent owns. Yeah. Because the Steelers. Well, deal that's 26. really where you make or break your team right there. Defense. Your defense. If your defense stops to zero and they're twenty percent on, you're dead. That twenty yeah. percent is dead. Dead in the water. Now you're only going against eighty percent of the field. It's like if you have that Steelers D, you, you, it's like who's it's the, unbar- who, It's on. You can't make up for that. Yeah. Who's the sleeper defense this week? Who's playing a good team? A good yeah. team. It's anyone who's playing a good team. Saints are playing the Bucks. See, Saints like could that could be a game. sneaky good play. Probably sub five percent. Patriots are playing. I mean, Steelers and Patriots. Steelers again would be high. Yeah, though. Steelers are going to be probably 15, 20 percent. Rams, Falcons. I think Niners. I like or Seattle. Chino people are high. They'll be high though. Chino Smith look good. Like uh, a defense that like you could go after this week. Probably that, that's not a bad play. Like a Packers. I like young quarterbacks attacking the young quarterbacks. Packers. Right? Yeah, like maybe Packers. Like you attack Fields, who scrambles a lot, a lot of sacks. Yeah, Packers would be a good one, or another decent one, even uh, like Rams, bro. You go Rams against the Falcons. Rams at home. Like Packers. They, I can see a. Do you think they're six. dead? No. No, no, no. Rogers is just. Rogers is gonna bust out bad. the. Relax. Everyone's saying, everyone's saying this is the same thing that happened in Week One last year. They lost the thirty-eight. The Saints blew them out. Yeah. But can it really happen again without Devontae? Can it really happen again? Because everyone's saying, "Oh, don't sleep on the Packers." The, the, I think the public view is now don't sleep on the Packers. They got blown out last year, mm-hmm. which makes me want to think, so oh, they're dead. They're yeah, dead. they might be. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's hard to say Rodgers is dead. because So now everyone's saying he's not because they did the same thing last year. Now I kind of feel like he is just because that's what everyone's saying. But it's also his line. Like no, no, it's not him. Was, it's yeah. not him. Sorry, just the Packers. Yeah, his no. line is and his receivers. And you like, need Lazard to yeah, see. Lazard. I think Lazard needs to be back. I was about see. to say his receiver. You can't help like that. Christian Watson drop. That's a walking touchdown yeah. early in the game. Get all the momentum on your side. A Rod, like I don't know. You can't. I don't. Know, you can't blame him for it. But I, Big Nick, you're right, dude. Everybody's saying like in our lifetime, the Packers have never really been bad. Never. You know what I mean? So it's like they're kind of due to for some regression. I could see that man. A little nine and nine and eight season, be crazy. Or a negative you know. season after the MVP, NFC Championships. Crazy, and I'm pretty sure they were like the third favorite to win the bowl this year. Not anymore. Nuts. I mean, again, it's only week one, so we, it's only week one. We don't want to. Well, I'm going to create a DFS right. lineup. That's like it. That, we got uh, two Chiefs, one Chargers. And we'll see you guys Sunday 11 a.m. Yeah, Sunday we'll, 11 a.m. We'll, yeah. is the real we'll show. We'll bring the ammo. We'll That's bring when we have song. everything down. But there it is. All right, so All what right. do you do? Showtime.